Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, we got a serious problem here. We got massive earthquakes. I mean, we had a 6.3 in Indonesia earlier today, but now we just had a 6.1 in New Caledonia. Now, here's the problem. There's been 59 earthquakes the last 24 hours. The pressure on the earth from those solar winds, even though they're not very hard. I mean, right now, the solar winds is below, below normal, 281 kilometers per second. But it doesn't matter. It's because of the gaping hole in the sun's atmosphere. It's so huge, I call it a canyon. And that has that is releasing uh, these uh, solar winds. Solar winds bringing powerful uh, cosmic rays, ultraviolet rays, corona mass ejection without even a solar flare. It's incredible. Well, here's what's going on. I mean, I'm just going to take a quick peek. Yes, we just had a 6.1, very shallow New Caledonia. Now, New Caledonia was hit yesterday with a... Uh, a powerful 6.8, almost 7.0, and it has not stopped shaking. And then we had a 6.3 today in Indonesia. I'm just going to tell you right now, Indonesia and uh, New Caledonia, and then Tonga. Let me check this out. I'll just give you the big ones. 5.0, 5.9, 5.1, all in New Caledonia. Of course, yesterday there was a 7.0 just before we started the show. A 5.8 in Tonga, 4.9 in Indonesia, 5.0 New Zealand, 5.9 and 5.7 Indonesia, and then boom, a 6.3 in Indonesia. Then we had a 4.8 in Mexico, 5.7 Indonesia, 5.1 Indonesia, 4.8 China, 4.6 New Caledonia. 5.0 Tonga, 5.0 Indonesia, and then it doesn't stop there, and I'm skipping a lot of quakes, okay, I'm just giving you the big ones, 5.0 Indonesia, 5.4 New Caledonia, 5.2, 4.9, 5.0, all in New Caledonia, 4.9 Tonga, 5.4 South Sandwich Islands, 4.7 New Caledonia, 5.3 New Caledonia, uh, 5.0 New Zealand, 5.1 New Caledonia, 5.0 Solomon Islands, 5.0, 6.1 New Caledonia, and uh, we just had a 4.4 hit China. I mean, it's been unbelievable. 60 earthquakes, 60 earthquakes the last 24 hours, and many of them over five, and two of them over six. So the earth is definitely shaking and quaking. The devil's back is breaking. Don't miss tonight's prime time live at 10 p.m. Eastern at my website, at new live stream, Roku satellite, everywhere, okay, including this YouTube channel. I'll see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock. What? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, let me just tell you something. In the San Andreas Fault, there was a tectonic tremor detected deep, deep beneath the Earth's surface raises a risk of massive earthquake. Matter of fact, this 4.3 earthquake that hit in Lompoc, California, and I want to make sure I say that right, Lompoc, California, it was a 4.3 quake. But there's also been tremors uh, that's been below, deep, underneath the San Andrea fault line. This is creating a lot of concern. And I did a video on this yesterday that the Cascadia fault line, which is just north of the San Andrea fault line, is so overdue for a quake. And we've had a series of quakes along that fault line yesterday. So America's most famous fault line is, is of course, the San Andreas, uh, is known for its frequent earthquakes. But one part of the system that the fault line has in the fault zone is inland in Southern California. It's been surprisingly quiet, really, for about 200 years. But it's waking up now, and so is Cascadia, and so is New Madrid. So, And then you have the super volcano in Yellowstone. So there's four major danger zones in America that are way overdue, all of them. So, um, look... We, we got to deal with this. We got to realize it's, it, look, Jesus said it. Jesus said there would be these earthquakes in diverse places. 
My concern is that these four major areas, that would be Cascadia fault line, the San Andrea fault line, the New Madrid fault line in the, in the center of the country, and Yellowstone supervolcano. What I'm concerned about is that there's this cataclysmic, catastrophic situation developing. The pressure's building everywhere on the earth. The tectonic plates, the ring of fire has been more active than ever before. Volcanoes are erupting. Earthquakes are happening. Uh, and extreme weather conditions are intensifying. And hurricanes are roaring. And so, and tornadoes are spinning off. And so what, what you, you have to look at, just look at over the last 10 years, the magnanimous increase, the exponential increase in all of these areas. Hurricanes, volcanoes, earthquakes, and tornadoes. And, this, and then you've got the sun is extremely volatile. So I'm just saying, let's keep a close eye on all of this. You know, just realize that the biblical narrative is true. Realize that the Bible's true, that there will be these earthquakes in divers places. There will be great sorrow. Read Isaiah 24. The earth will have a pole shift. That's what it says in Isaiah 24, 1. We will hear sounds in the heavens. There will be booming and, and, and noise coming from the earth, from the pit. There will be. The earth will reel and rock like a drunken man. And, and we're seeing all of it now. But it will be actually in a more powerful and even more greater scale. We're ramping up toward it. We're in the last days. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. The coming apocalypse. We will cover all the current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. And of course, tomorrow I will be in Huntington, Indiana for Bible Prophecy for Today a conference at the First Church of the Nazarene in Huntington, Indiana. And it will, I will be speaking at 3 p.m. and again at 6 p.m. So that will be the conference. I'll be speaking at 3 p.m. and again at 6 p.m. at the First Church of the Nazarene in Huntington, Indiana. The final conference of the year, a reflection on the entire year's events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. That will be a power. Bring a notepad. You'll want to take notes. You'll be shocked at the events that's happened in 2017 thus far and how they are tied to the biblical narrative in the Bible. Christ is coming, and San Andrea is starting to wake up. Are you saved?